I'm Oluwa Tosin Smith. Everybody calls me Tosin. And I'm with the Glaucoma Associates of Texas and Dallas. So I was a um, moderator for the session involving industry uh, pharmaceuticals. And I, in my session, I had Ramen Villian, I had Eli, um, and I had Tom Mitra. And uh, it was a really good session. Uh, we were able to discuss back and forth about the challenges of being able to find new products and bringing them to, to the market, um, whether it was patient-centered challenges or, or manufacturer-centered challenges, um, and, and the things uh, that people have to face in, in launching a new product on the market these days. One of the things we also talked about in that session was what their thoughts were regarding the next wave of pharmaceuticals for glaucoma. And there was an interesting session before that that actually talked about non-IOP lowering pharmaceutical products that were on the horizon for glaucoma. And a lot of the focus in that session was neuroprotection and neuroenhancement, neuroregeneration. And I, I, I think, and I do agree with that panel, that that is probably the next wave uh, for glaucoma treatment. Some of the companies did have, probably have something in their portfolio uh, that is directed at uh, doing exactly that. There was a talk by Airy in that pre-session, and I think um, the Allegan people probably have, have thought about using bromonidine just for that purpose. But I, I think all, all attention now, after the, the, the many waves of drug delivery platforms, go by is, is really going to be neuroregeneration, neuroprotection, and neuroenhancement. You know, many patients, when you first diagnose them with glaucoma, their, their fear is, first of all, am I going to go blind from glaucoma? And if you can somehow allay that fear, um, then, then it, it makes them feel better about their disease state. For now, over time, people still have some degree of progression from disease. I think being able to come to a place where we can uh, not only stabilize disease and help people to be better compliant or adherent with their disease state, um, but also to try and get back some of either functionally their vision or, or nerve tissue loss that they've acquired over time in the course of the disease will be something that a lot of patients will look forward to. In fact, ultimately when your patients come in to talk to you about, when they come in for their visits, the biggest question that I get asked is, is there anything out there that can help me get my vision back? So I think it's going to be a very exciting time for patients too.